let it come out. Oh, you have not learned to make a caracus this way. Oh, you are still living in a closed door. Oh, this Akara came out so good. So you just have to take some time and watch me prepare this almost oilless Akara. Looking so nice like this and well cooked inside. Let me show you how I prepare this course. Remember, this is a well popular Nigerian breakfast Akara. So what you have to do is to wash some beans, add your onion and some pepper also add fresh pepper habanero pepper is very important and blend them you have to blend them to be thick it have to come out like this exactly you don't have to put so much water if you put so much water then it will run watery after that take your whisk and whisk this uh pest for like 10 minutes or it. after whisking them sorry you are not seeing it very well i did place the camera away and this is how it will be looking this akara is where uh with then it have less air inside because all the bubbles have taken them out i'm just using about a teaspoon of salt for this and it's not much i'll add some onions as well we want to be eating them crunch inside the akarakus wix them a little more and now your oil is on the on the gas heating you don't have to pour too much oil on your frying pan just a little like the one you are seeing in my pan so after uh, whisking the uh, onions and salt you just have to start scooping them in the oil i am using a spoon to do this because spoon is just a perfect measurement for this akarakus i've tried every other uh, method but this spoon gives me the correct <laughs> measurement when it comes to akara sizes unless you want to make them bigger than this go ahead and scoop them remember the oil have to be hot just uh like this if you are scooping them they are just doing their work immediately then after scooping them you have to look for something like a uh, a long stick yeah like the one we used to make a uh so yeah you just use it and be turning them around or flipping them to the other side a stick like this is a uh, perfect did you see the way this akara is frying yes it doesn't take in much oil no not even any oil because when this akara comes out you will see how almost oilless it is and at the beginning of this uh, video i showed you this akara coming out from air fryer uh you were not thinking that i fried it in the air fryer of course no you cannot fry akara in the air fryer but i will show you another method which i have also used to make akara and it came out so nice without using oil to fry it so the reason why i am putting it in the air fryer is because this air fryer serves so it serves for so many purposes this air fryer help this akara to remain hot when i mean hot to remain hot until you are ready to eat or to enjoy your breakfast so just make sure you preheat your air fryer for like a three to five minutes before you start putting in this akara from your frying pan to the air fryer after that just leave it in there and this akara will remain warm until when you want to serve it with your pap to enjoy so that is it how i came about uh, this uh, idea and it was very nice so let me know in the comment section what do you use to enjoy your akarakus is it with bread or with pap what else again it's just that <laughs> either you uh, smuggle them inside your bread and enjoy them with a uh, coke they call it a and b a b c in the morning akara bread and coke or you use your pap akara and pap ap <laughs> and that is how we come to the end of this uh akara recipe it came out so nice remember you don't need much ingredients only salt pepper onions will give you this beautiful uh delicious akara and this is it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye bye